Today I'm going to explain the trick out of sight, out of mind. Um, I jump straight into the tutorial and I will perform while explaining it. On top I have nine cards. It's the ace of clubs uh, till the nine of clubs. And that's just for explanation purposes. You can ask the spectator to shuffle the deck because the order doesn't matter. However, when uh, while explaining it, it's really easy to follow what is going on when I have this order. So, this is how you start. First of all, you show nine cards, exactly nine cards. And you do it just as you would do normally. Card number one, two, you don't count. You just show it at a normal, normal pace. And say, please keep one card in mind. You can still switch if you would like. Continue till you arrive at card number nine, which is almost there. It's now. Say, so, okay. Well, I think you have one card in mind. Otherwise, please do it right now. You can still switch. But okay. Now, keep thinking about it. What you do next is. You put the cards in, you riffle, and you do it with an angle jog. So now you can create a pinky break over here. You put the other cards on top. And now from the pinky break, you make it a thumb break. And you start to shuffle off. And you do this until you come to the break. And at this moment you do one, two, three. And now you tilt the deck towards yourself because you are going to do an out jog. So now they can't see it. Again, one. This is first, two, three. And you throw the remainder on top. Now you turn over the deck. And this is what you do. Put some pressure on the out jog card. And you move these cards over, you create a pinky break, and you put the remainder on top. So now this is the situation. Here are three of the nine cards. The other cards are just above the break. So the final cards are over here. So now let's assume the spectator has chosen the nine of clubs. So our break is over here and what you do next is you say okay keep thinking about your card but please don't say it out loud. And now in silence you count. You start counting. One, two, three. Because one of these three cards could be their card. And now you do also in silence one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you say at this moment, have you seen your card yet? Exactly after 13 cards. And they will say no. Okay, now you know that it's only three cards above your pinky break that the other options could be one of their could be their card. So you continue. And over here, just to make them not suspicious, you could say, for example, have you seen your card yet? Although you know that can never be the case. Still, they have not seen their card. So say, okay, still not seen your card. No, no, no. So now, over here, this could be one of their cards. One of these three cards could be one, could be the, their card. So now you create a break over here. So for example, by do, doing it with these two fingers, one, two, three, keep them in between. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Have you seen your card yet? And they will say no. If they say yes, 
then you put these cards on top and these cards at the bottom. However, they will say no. So now you can put the cards over here and you continue. You create a break and you know that again one of the three cards above the break could be one will be one will be their card so again you start one two three four have you, have you seen your card they will say no because the only options left are this one this one this one this one and this one okay now you start counting again and you create a break one two three and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now you say have you seen your card yet and they will say yes because this was their card so what you do now is put these cards at the bottom and these cards on top and you know the, the 10 cards on top will not be their card so now you start acting for example like this you ask please hold your hand like this and now you put the first card on their hand while taking a look at it say so no i don't think this is your card this one doesn't feel good either this is not your card but it's important to keep on counting four five this is card number 10 so now you know the next three cards will be their card so this is how you act from here take a look at this card it's the seven and remember this card you put it over here take a look at the next card it's the eight and at the card below and over here you have a double now and you say now for the very first time please what say what was your card and if they say it was seven then you say okay turn over this card and they will do it and see that the seven is over here and they will be totally surprised if they say it was nine then you turn over this card and they will be totally surprised and if they say it was the eight then you say okay now please turn over this card and they will see their card and that's how you play out of sight, out of mind.